Hey, espresso and coffee lovers, something special today. We're gonna to take a look at Americanos and making them on two different machines here. Yeah, so we're gonna go over the semi-automatic version and the super automatic version, talk about what an Americano is, how to make it and why we like it. Yeah, we, we do love them. And yeah. you know, a lot of people are really getting into them. You get some really different presentation, a lot of nice things about an Americano. We'll get yep. into more of that. And of course we have, if you hadn't noticed, our Bedzera shirts on. I've got the uh, manual uh, lever machine here and you've got the really cool logo that I found on the castle in Milan where Bedzera is located. So the machine you're gonna use, you're gonna use the Bedzera Matrix. This is the MN, it's got the cool LED panels. You can change the colors on these, all kinds of fun things. Um, we won't get too deep into the machine. We have full reviews of the Bedzera Matrix here. I'm gonna be doing it the easy way on the Prestige, the Cadorna Prestige by Gaja over here by pushing a button. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the, the, if you want control over all your factors, if you wanna get the best possible quality you can out of your Americano, that is the convenient way. It's just quick, easy, and done. Yeah, you turn this machine on and inside of a minute or two, you're gonna have a really nice Americano or a bunch of other drinks. Again, right. we do have full reviews on these machines, but let's get into, I mean, what are, what are just some of the basics about an Americano? I mean, pretty simple and straightforward, right? Right, so an Americano, in the general sense is a shot of espresso with hot water poured on top of it. And there's different variations of it. For example, if you do the opposite order, if you do hot water with espresso on top, it's called the long black, which is popular in Australia and New Zealand. Mm -hmm. But most of the people here, when you hear Americano, it's espresso with hot water on top. And you gotta be careful. If you ever go to Italy, I mean, I don't think we're doing that anytime soon. I really wish I could. But if you go ask for an Americano in Italy, you might get something a little different. You might have to do a little explaining. I'll tell a little story about that coming sure. up. But let's get into it. Um, you're gonna grind with a, the Chiato E37S? Yeah, so I'll go through my, I make an Americano every morning. Uh, and I'll go through my process of how I do that and I'll brew one. First of all, like I said, you're putting hot water on your espresso, but with your hot water tap on a semi-automatic machine, the water coming out of that is generally gonna be About very hot. Yeah, yeah <laughs> probably too hot, that you, more hot than you would wanna put over espresso. So the first thing I do, this might just be me, but before I do any grinding, any, any of that, I'll just pour. I'll just put some hot water in a frothing pitcher. And that water, I mean, it's steaming coming out. It's basically boiling, but I just set that aside while Let I'm grinding cool tamping. By the time it cools, or by the time I'm done with that, it's cool. Probably generally around 175 degrees is a good temperature for your water. Mm -hmm. I did do some tests of how long it takes to get there, but the easy way to do it is just do that first, get your espresso, and then pour it over. And a little something about, you know, tasting things, right? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people, they want a super hot cup of coffee, and I get it. You know, maybe that's the way we're brought up, but super hot, you really can't taste the flavors. If you want right. to experience flavors, talk to professional tasters and they want it below 150 degrees. Yeah, it's well, the same <laughs> reason people drink really cold beer. It's, right. it's to kind of hide that it's not the best drink. Right, <laughs> closer to body temperature, more flavor perception. Yes, so, so while my, my water is cooling off, uh, I'm gonna grind my shot. I need the you dialed this in before, so we don't have to do all that right now, right? Yeah, I dialed it in ahead of time. And generally, as far as ratios go, my process is to uh, get your espresso dialed in first. And so I did, uh, for this drink, I did 18 grams in and about 42 out mm -hmm. uh, in about 25 seconds from first drip. Oh, and the coffee you're using. Oh, yes. And this is the Carraro Tazadoro. It's one of my favorites. I've been drinking it every morning in my Americano. Perfect. And you see, on I, we have a really nice touch display here on the Bazaar. Again, we do have a full review video of this. So you get the timer, we get our brew pressure here. You're right between eight and nine bars. Temperatures, very easy to change everything on here. Nice mm -hmm. steam pressure on this machine too, by the way. Runs up about 1.75 bars at the max temperature. Yeah, so I know since I dialed it earlier that about right there, 30 seconds from pump on is about 25 seconds from first trip. I've got about two ounces in my cup there. And then I'm gonna take that water that's cooled off to about where I wanna drink it and just pour it in. Now again, you're, you're kind of pouring down. I mean, there is some, some, uh, something to the fact that maybe you, know, you keep that crema up on top that as those bubbles burst are releasing aromatics for yep. you. Yep, and I've still got that layer there. Um, so like I mentioned, as far as brew ratios, I was doing it by weight, but mm -hmm. as far as espresso to water ratio, I'm doing it by volume. 
So I know that my, my 18 in 42 out gives me about two ounces of espresso in my cup. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna start with a two to one ratio of water to espresso. So I'm gonna do two ounces of espresso, four ounces of hot water on there. And there's no real guidelines of the amount of water to add, but that's, where, that's a good starting point and you can always adjust from there. So if you go to Italy, and there's, here, that leads me perfectly right in my story, go to Italy and you ask for an Americano, you might, depending on where you are, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was doing like, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the major highways north to south and stuff, and you stop the stops there at the espresso bar, and you say, hey, can I have an Americano? And they, they're going to give you maybe a funny look. Mm -hmm. You say, no, just give me a shot with some water over the top. And you're usually going to get something more, which might be called like an Italiano, which is an espresso one-to-one -one with hot water. Yeah. And it's going to be really, really hot. I love the trick of putting your water into the pitcher first. Yep. Um, so that works out really well. You gonna hang on to that and I'm let me go? I'm gonna try it okay. first. And that's like your daily, that's your daily thing, right? Every morning is Tatsadoro and Americano. That's how I start my day. All yep. right. And so one of the reasons that I like starting with an Americano and drinking Americanos in general is you get all of those flavors of the espresso, all the control you have over it, all the ways you can manipulate the flavor and then you stretch it out over a longer period of time. So you can drink it for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, instead of a little shot of espresso that you're basically just slurping so you, down. You get to enjoy it. Yes. Which yes. if you go to Italy, people drink espresso, it's just more of a boom, done, yep. gone, yep. right? Yeah, just a so, way to get caffeine. <laughs> so just a little different cultural uh, what happens between different yeah. countries. Yeah. So let me go over to the Gaja Cordona Prestige. So. This is our daily driver here. You know, we all, we got another guy in front of the camera. I say, hey, Austin. Hey, everyone. <laughs> we all use this machine uh, daily. Um, it's been in here, I don't know, I think uh, since uh, March or so Probably, we've been yeah. using this yeah. machine. Um, love this machine, a great value. Uh, my favorite guys machine, we use it daily. Um, does a lot of stuff. This is the Prestige model, so it has the milk carafe. Um, so you can do all your milk drinks on here. Love the selection of milk drinks on this machine. But it also has the True Americano. And it's a one step. Now if you have another super automatic, you can certainly make the espresso. And on those you can usually add hot water out of the tap here. Mm -hmm. Here it does it all by itself and you have a lot of control. So now usually I of course use my whole latte love Camelback mug, which is double insulated because I do like to enjoy these for a little while. So I want to keep the temperature in there. Mm -hmm. Love that. But so you can see what's happening. Um, I have this double wall glass insulated, and I did have it up here. It's got a little passive warming up here. It just warms up the cup a little bit. So very simple on this machine. It's going to do everything that you did automatically for me. Yep. Um, so what I have in here, on the screen here, you can see some of the different beverages. I'll take you through real quick. Um, so you've got Cafe Olay, Espresso Lungo. You've got the Americano right up here. Um, flat White, Cappuccino XL. So if you like the really big drinks, you can do those. Um, and ristretto or just frothed milk for other things. But one of the things I really love about this machine is for user presets. So I've got my Americano set up the way I want it in here. So I just go to my favorites. I chose the red heart for mine hmm. as I go through. So here's all my custom drinks. Um, and I'll go over to the Americano, so I select that. Now, I know it's set up just the way I want it, but if I want to right here, I can go in and change this. This is one of the things I really like about the Cadorna machines, is you're presented with all the drink parameters right here. So I'm gonna get 2.19 ounces of espresso, I'm gonna get 4.39 ounces of water, there's that one to two ratio you were talking mm -hmm. about, um, and then I'm gonna go full strength on this. And one thing, one reason why I really like doing Americanos on a machine like this is because I'm also doing milk drinks and I want espresso. You have adjustable grind size on this, and if you're going to be doing espresso, my suggestion is always adjust the grind the finest, yeah. um, the temperature the hottest, and this machine does do hot drinks, I like that. Because if you were going back and forth between espresso and coffee, it's, some people yeah. just leave it where it is, but you generally want to grind a little coarser for a long coffee and a little yeah. finer for espresso, but now you can just leave it I there. Can, I can just leave that grinder where it is, yeah. yeah. So if I was doing, because you can just make regular long coffee on here, mm -hmm. and it's just going to put more water through the coffee, but you would want to grind coarser. So there's where I've got mine set up. Again, if I wanted to change any of these, I could mm -hmm. for one time only, or I could choose to save it. But I'm just gonna hit the button and start. So it's gonna grind the beans up here. All my beans are up top in here. It's grinding the beans for me. That's what AJ was doing over yes. there manually. <laughs> I just kind of sit around and watch it do its thing. Um, and then you're gonna, you'll hear it start. And it's gonna, what it's gonna do is pre-infuse the coffee that it's ground. So all the tamping and everything that AJ was doing over there 
the machine is doing internally Does it for, for me. You. So, so that, talking about uh, the difference between, again, a, an Americano and a coffee, there's a difference in caffeine generally, too. Yeah. Right? Talk yeah. about that. So, the longer water goes through coffee, the more caffeine it extracts. And mm -hmm. in an espresso, the water contact time isn't all that much. Now, your grind is finer, but in general, a single shot of espresso has less caffeine than a normal cup of drip coffee. Yep, and so when you're just adding water on top of that, obviously the water is not caffeinated. So an Americano will generally have, in, in general, less caffeine than a, a yeah. long coffee. So it's made my espresso. Now it's gonna do the hot water right over the top. And this is a feature, this comes even at the base model of this machine, which is about one third the price mm -hmm. of a competing machine from Jura, which has this one-step Americano process. So a huge value. Yep, and that, that base model is the Cadorna Barista Plus. Yes. Um, I have that in my house right now. I make a Americanos when I'm at home on that. And it's, it's a great machine, it has a manual steam wand. We have full videos on that as well that we'll link to in the video description. So there's that just pure hot water being added. Um, I'm not too worried, it's, it's maintaining that layer of that bubbly layer up top, which is mm -hmm. gonna give me a little aromatics off the top. Again, I'm getting less caffeine out of this in a standard coffee. I like to kind of have a, a coffee of some sort kind of around me all morning long. Yeah, have a few of these during the day and not be too jittery. Not be too jittery. Yeah. Different story when we get to espresso taste and we're doing shot after yeah. shot after <laughs> shot, but, but for this, it's, it's great. And then I'm done. And so I really just had to push a button and get it all done. Yeah. Now, honestly, you can go much higher quality, much more precise with this. Oh, and by the way, I'm using, of course, Gaja, <laughs> or not Gaja, Maroma's Orfea, um, my, one of my favorite coffees, $10 a pound, gets fantastic reviews. And you, you like the tots over there, right? Yep. It's a little bit more, yep. uh, but this is a really nice coffee as well. Uh, but I'm gonna get a taste. And, you know, a lot of people are looking for hotter drinks and they ask, you know, what, what super automatic can make some hot drinks? You know, the, the Cadorners are one of the few, they have three temperature levels, mm -hmm. one of the few that I've ever turned down from high to, to say medium temperature when I'm brewing. But yeah, and again, with the drink temperature on this, with the way I'm doing it by putting yeah. your, your uh, hot water in your pitcher first, you have control. The longer you let that sit, the cooler it's gonna be. Uh, if you want it to be a little hot or a little cooler. That's a great tip. And also you can get that water there if you want to add the water after the fact instead of yep. before without really breaking up the crema too much. Right, right. Um, so that's how you make Americanos at home. Another little tip, if you're yeah. going to a cafe, if you order an Americano, you know it's going to be fresh. You know they're going to be grinding it fresh for you right there, pouring right. the water on, pulling the shot. Whereas if you just go and you order a coffee, it could have been sitting in the pot for half an hour, an hour, and and maybe not as good as the fresh Americano. And just from, from, from a flavor standpoint, why people are getting into these, is it's so easy, right, to just, yeah. you can add more water or less water, and you're not yep. gonna change the flavor so much as just the intensity of it. Yeah, you're kind of changing the body, and it, you can still feel all those flavors. You can get your espresso dial in exactly how you want it with the exact flavor profile you want, and then just kind of stretch it over a longer or shorter drink. Yeah, and it's, and it's, got, a, it's got a different, I, I think a, a, a deeper, more pronounced, so if you're working with some specialty coffees, mm -hmm. that those those flavors, those intense flavors are gonna come through a lot better than they do in a, in a drip coffee, yep. in my opinion. Absolutely anyways. agree, yeah. All right, so AJ, thanks a lot for taking over yeah, the no uh, Betzera Matrix here. Um, this is a really cool machine. If you're looking for a dual boiler and something with some flash, the Matrix is cool. A lot of functions in here. Again, we'll link to that video if you, you're interested in that. This is rotary pump, plumbable, dual boiler, PID, and it's got it all. <laughs> of course the light ups. And then, then there's the duo machine, which is basically the same internals, but without the extra flash. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Gaja Cadorna Prestige over here. There's a couple models below this. This one has the you know, integrated craft. Love this for the milk drinks. Makes it really easy, just as quick as an Americano. <laughs> or the one that you're using at home, the Barista Plus, which has the real manual steaming wand on yeah, it. Yeah, you can do latte art with it or really customize your drinks just in a more manual setting. All right, guys. So that's kind of the Americano, as always. If you have any questions about it, AJ and I do monitor the comments. So, mm -hmm. you know, leave the questions there. It doesn't have to be about Americano. We'll answer just about anything, coffee yep. or espresso. But until next time, I'm Mark. That's AJ. Yep. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you like this stuff, do that. And then we hope to see you back here soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.